This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad. And welcome to freshly coating a part with a layer of paint just before you dropped it on the floor. A lot of you will know already that I'm really busy making my studio and making a new space for me to record all the wonderful videos in. But that doesn't mean that the work has stopped on actually making the videos. So this video may be a little bit different to something you're used to, but stick with me. If you like it, you like it, put the like, put the words in the square box, comment, do the things. If you don't like it, there will be a little bit of an instruction at the end of the video. This week, I was sent this. What is this, you may ask? This is how you get around when you need to take your model painting stuff to another area that is not the area which you usually paint in. Also, for those of you who are actually working with very limited space and perhaps you don't have a full table set up for you to be able to paint on, this literally solves that. It solves it all. It's magic. This thing is amazing. I can't wait to show you what this thing is. This might actually be the easiest way for me to show you exactly what this is. So let me try and explain this in layman's terms. Basically, this is an area for you to keep tools, paint, all the kind of things you would need to make and build your models. And this is a work surface area, which is for you to work on. But wait, this is not all, because this thing is super amazing. I'm gonna show you everything that this thing has to offer, and I hope you will like it just as much as I like it. Not only is it made from a lovely piece of wood that has been varnished in a very fantastic way, and my logo printed upon the front. This is actually laser cut, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it definitely looks laser cut. Maybe it was, I don't know, CNC'd, I doubt. It's laser cut. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable on the ways in which you would make these kind of markings, but this thing has been marked with the logo. It has some pretty heavy duty locker things that keep your actual lid closed. So this thing's not gonna just shoot open. The strength to close it is actually quite a lot to open it as well. So it's not gonna just open up while you're walking around with it. Now it does come with a load of paint trays as well as the strap. There is also a strap that it gets you around the edge to carry it with, which I might attach, I might not. I'm pretty sure carrying it by the handle seems to be all right for me. Basically these paint trays can hold quite a lot of paint. So if we put in some paint now, I can show you how many paints we can fit. It's four paints on a row and long ways you can comfortably fit about eight paints in a row. So that gives you a total of, I don't know because I don't actually maths ever. If you could just uh, work that out for me and leave that in the comments below, that would make my life a little bit easier and I won't have to use the calculator. As far as paint trays go, it's got one, two, three, four of them technically. One is kind of covered up because it is another box. And inside these boxes are some really, really great things. I'm going to show you one of the first things first. There is a couple of cables and things in here for extending the thing that I'm going to show you next. You get these little arms that will actually attach onto the top of the box. And out the top of the box in this little slot, you pull out this little LED light. This has many different arrangements for how you can mount this light. You can turn these around as well. And for example, you could do an angle to angle it into the box if you wanted to. You could turn them the other way around and you could have it so that it's angled outwards towards you if you wanted to. But either way, what you're gonna do essentially is just mount this onto these little arms on the box. I'm gonna lower it down just so that you can actually see it in the video because space is a bit of an issue in this position. You then have this little driver, which is a USB driver for the LED. You plug this into the one side of the LED and you plug this into any USB port that you have available somewhere. And you have magical light. So this then will obviously become a storage box, which you can then take that piece and put any tools that you may want to put into that. For example, cutters or pliers or anything like that, that will go great into there. What I may end up using mine for is just keeping the extra little light um, cables and things like that. Maybe a couple of little tools, nothing major, but
but this is going to be my travel box to going between my studio and home so if i want to paint at home again i can still bring all or some of my paints with and carry on working on the project that i'm currently working on so there is another thing that comes with this box that i think is also really really cool maybe a little bit better for miniature painting than actually for large model painting because i actually think this thing is going to be really good to keep small amounts of paint on but not really good for keeping large amounts of paints on and this is in the other box that is also another storage box and this is the wet palette that comes with it so with this you get actually a wet palette which is completely sealable they also give you a new fresh pad as well as a couple of um, pieces of parchment to go in the wet palette itself it is a bit of a weird cut but you could still probably cut your own pieces and just cut them straight it would still work just as far and this is the actual wet palette itself and it is sealed with a um, o-ring around the edge as well so this will definitely be watertight which i guess is a good thing especially if you're carrying stuff around you probably don't want your paints leaking out or into any of your models or anything like that so for miniature painters there is one other thing in this set that is really really cool and this is an actual miniatures holder which is an extra little slot that is oh god which is an extra little slot that is available on the inside of the box which has two of these little pieces which you can also in exchange on the website you're able to choose whether you want more of these boxes more of the paint slots whatever you're looking for inside the box it is pretty customizable so you can change what you have but with this what's really cool about this is if you're working on a miniature you can put it onto the little holder and there's little slots inside of this thing so you'll be able to stick your miniatures back in and if you were going say between places you could stick your miniatures back in the box close everything up and get there as out breaking everything which would be great for not breaking things and like i said that is the entire box that is everything in the box easy to carry all your paints and everything with you if you were going somewhere and you needed to paint say at a friend's house or you wanted to go paint in the freaking hotel on your work rounds i don't know what you do in your spare time but this for me is going to be great for going from my shop to my home and being able to paint in my house and taking that same work back to work again and being able to work in both places this is literally going to be integral to that everybody's been waiting for that one time when i dropped something and that something literally nearly happened today i nearly dropped it and broke the statue that is sitting right behind this computer now of course i would like to say a super special thank you to frontier wargaming for sending me this box honestly this video was not sponsored at all but they did send me this box and i felt like i absolutely had to show it to everybody because for me this is honestly going to help my work so much more from moving stuff between home and work genuinely i was not excited about putting that stuff in my backpack and carrying at least 15 20 maybe even 30 different paints just to go and carry on working on something when i got back home after working in the studio so for someone like me this is super ideal if you are someone who likes to paint say at home as well as with friends or you want to paint at work or whatever the case is maybe you've got a job where a lot of the time during the day you just sit around doing nothing this would be great because you can take your paints with to work and you can paint during your lunch time or in those times when you're not doing anything. So again, I just want to say a super special thank you to Frontier Wargaming for sending me this box. I'm absolutely over the moon with it and I love it to death. And if any of you like this, then perhaps check in the description for the link to get one of these for yourself. And while we're on the topic of thank yous, I'd like to say a super special thank you to my patrons. We also got one new patron this week who I'd like to say thank you right now. And that is honey badger thank you so much my dude your support means so much to me and the channel and i'm super grateful for it is really helpful everybody who supports me in any way shape or form whether you're watching the videos or over on the patreon all this support is super great for the channel and i'm really grateful for all of it thank you so much to everybody now we are at the part of the video where i get to do my favorite thing and this is where i tell everyone if you didn't like what you saw in the video the best thing you can do for me actually at this point is just f off now i'm gonna pack my little box full of paints and go and paint somewhere else just because i can <laughs>